Hi, I'm Leslie Kanan of Village Health. Thank you for joining me today for a little, couple of minute neck exercises to help with forward head posture or any sort of neck strain or shoulder strain that you might be experiencing. Now with any new type of movement or exercise, you're gonna to wanna to consult with your physician or doctor first. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Today for this, you're gonna need a space on the floor. You don't wanna be on a bed or too cushiony of a place. You wanna have a spot on the floor. And then if you tend to have forward head posture, you're gonna to wanna to have a pillow nearby to help align your head, neck, and shoulders. Let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna lie down on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat. Now, if you tend to have your head down on a flat surface and your chin juts up and you feel like your head is reaching back towards the floor, that's when you're gonna to wanna to have that pillow behind your head to help line up your head, neck, and shoulders. Now, I know I said no cushiony surfaces, but in this case, you're gonna to wanna to move your head so that it can be in line with your head, neck, and shoulders so that you're not straining your neck because it's always good to do these types of stretches and movements from a good alignment, a good posture, okay? So I don't need the pillow, so I'm gonna move it out of the way. You're gonna have your arms down by your sides. You can either have your palms down or your palms up. You just wanna be nice and relaxed through your upper body. And for the first part of the exercise, you're just gonna do a head press. You're gonna keep your eyes and your nose straight to the ceiling, and you're gonna press your head straight back into your mat, and then you're gonna release. And then you're gonna press your head straight back into your mat and then release. And you're gonna do that about eight to 10 times. Let me give you a visual of who's seated. So this, what this is helping is a lot of us tend to have that forward head posture. And what we're doing is lying on our mat and pulling that head back so that it's in line with the rest of our spine and our ears are over our shoulders. So again, you're pressing that head back. So your head is at rest on the mat and then you're pressing it back. It's at rest and it's pressing it back. And like I said, we're gonna do that eight to 10 times. After you do the head press, you're gonna move into the head press and nod, okay? In the head press and nod, you're gonna press your head back into your mat and then you're gonna lengthen the back of your neck. And you'll notice that your chin will come down, but you don't wanna just think of drawing your chin down and really engaging the front of your neck you really want to pay attention and emphasize the lengthening of the neck, okay? So pressing the head back and then focusing on emphasizing the lengthening of the back of the neck and then releasing back into neutral. So I'm gonna show that lying down. Again, using that pillow if you need it. So you've done the head presses eight to 10 times. Now you're gonna do the head press and then keep that head pressing long and then release, head press, and then stretch the back of the neck out. As you do this, you might feel it down in between your shoulder blades on either side of your spine, and that's just fine. You don't wanna to feel too much in the front of the neck. So with both of those exercises, the head press and the head press and nod, you wanna do them eight to 10 times. And over time, this will help bring your head back into better alignment over your shoulders and will help with neck strain and upper back strain. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.